piece of chipboard, 8 by 8 chipboard, covered it with a piece of wadding. Just covering this now with my fabric that I want for the background. So I'm just going to turn that upside down and we're going to glue this in. Now this is fine material, I don't want to be getting it all over myself, I just don't want the camera to uh, fall either. Okay, I'm just going to pull it a little bit. Like that. <coughs> Do make sure with this you've got the fabric the right way around. There is a right and a wrong way to embroider uh, tool or um, organza. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim this down to about an inch. So these are things, I mean, I know someone, some of you, or the odd one said, oh, Fee, you know, what else are you going to do? Well, I'm doing these because these are for people. So I have to do them. So I'm only bringing you along with my project that I'm doing for somebody. I have actually made one of these that's going up on the shop. But only because I liked it. get the impression that some of uh, the people that watch think I don't do anything else but I do an awful lot of things it's just that I have projects to uh, and orders to complete so that's why I like to bring my uh, followers in and follow me while I'm doing them you know we are extremely busy and um, I get a lot of people ordering privately as well and then those things have to be made. So that's why I bring you along. I hope this is filming. We'll see. Oops. Oh, get rid of that piece of paper. It's doing my head in. So all I'm going to do is just like a, a fold like that. I think my glue gun's warmed up enough or oh, it's been on too long so we fold that over tuck that in fold that right over like that and I will be putting a backing on this so I'm not bothered about that at all it will have a felt backing. Ooh, scissors caught. Let's take the most um, access. Off that I can. So I don't want the bulkiness, you see. Like that. Let's glue that down. I call this the hospital fold. Because when you're making the hospital bed, you have to have them tucked in just so.
Right. Like I say, I'm not fussed about it. That's perfect. Exactly what I want. And that's really pretty as well. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I have this, which is cut from some fabrics that I uh, found. It's a tablecloth, actually. But I just love this section. Getting this the right way around is a pain. No, that is right. I did have it right. Um, so I'm just going to chop off this leaf here. But obviously, I'm not going to waste it. Let's put that to one side. Yeah, shall we do that? One, two, three. I need four. I need that. That'll do. I know what I need that to be. Tell you what, that wind's picked up, and I think we're. I don't know. I think we're due for a storm of some sort. I take a good inch in. So I want it there. Like that. Yes, I'm sure I've got it the right way. It's tough if I haven't. <laughs> you can see everything and that's why I want so now we've got that um, I've got some of the uh, this that I want to put on which are, they're just fabulous they are expensive but they are 3d they're covered in pearls and 3d flowers um, they are expensive to buy uh, hence the price but you get one full with that one full applique and for the actually for the price it's um, not bad so if you do want anything like this that you want to really jazz up your uh, creations run along and get it from the shop it's stunning 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 now I don't want that one I'm just going to chop that one off I'm not sure what part of that section I want yet. Don't need that. Keep hold of that. I think I'm going to cut mine here. You just chop them up into sections. So you get several projects out of them. Just making sure this is going to hold. I'm going to have to somehow fix my camera onto my tripod a little bit better and buy a whole new one might just do that actually okay so I absolutely love that that's just going straight on I'm not messing about it's exactly what I want it fits perfectly like I say, we do sell them in the shop. I think my glue gun's just about had it. Folks. Right, I'm just going to run the glue gun down that side and glue that in. don't actually want that showing. And then for this section, just glue it all down. Isn't that gorgeous already? Don't really need to do any more than that. But what I'm going to do, I think, I'm just going to take off this one flower of the other bit that I left. I think I want that bit. 
Oops. And I'm just going to put this just there. Just needed another flower, that's all. Love it. Gorgeous. Right, so that's that. Now what we're going to do is I have some of these. And I'm not sure. They're already what I had roses on and I'm, I'm thinking about taking these off. And putting them elsewhere. Just let me see. Let me get my little scissors. I might just make little flowers out of these to be honest. To go around the edge. Oops, sorry, hope that doesn't come off. Let me just see. Do I really want to? I don't know. <laughs> that made me mind up. I don't think I want to go that far. Right, so the other thing is, um, I need something at the top. So I'm going to use some of the braids I bought recently. Mm. I don't want anything too fancy. That would be silly. Um, because I don't want to take away the look. Although I need a pink bow. What about the rose I made earlier? No, too much, too much. I don't want to do that. I don't want them either. They're the wrong, it's vintage, that is the thing. So I think I'm going to have to make... Um... Right, I hope you can see the rest of this. It'd be a shame if it's uh, going all over the place. Right, um, I did some of these the other day, which I'm, I'm wanting here. I've also got a picture and some trim that I'm going to put around the picture. I think I'll do that first. Um, all I do is just pop a little bit of glue on. I start at the bottom. Because I just want the, excuse me, the frill showing. Now, it looks like I might need to change my glue again. That's fine. Let's give me a little frame. Don't waste that. That will come in handy somewhere. Now I'm going to just put my picture here. Right at the front, I just want to add a little bit of um, bling. And I've got this uh, diamante chain in pink. And glue that in place and I just want it there by the flowers I think it looks fab so I'm just going to take all these away I got myself a little collection of uh, flowers out changed my mind about using that one I did say I was going to use this one now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue it on Um, and I've got these um, gorgeous, gorgeous roses that I'm just going to pop on as well, like so. so I'm just going to put the one on for now. And then I'm going to take, I think from here, some of these little flowers.
I aren't fussed about it being mixed at all. Where's the other one? I kind of like the mixture. And then the last one, which I'm just going to stand this up a little bit. Yeah, I love that. I think that looks fab. And I'm actually going to glue that one on top like that. Gorgeous. Now I've taken some of this trim, beady trim, um, and I'm about to lift this up. And I've also got the tassel trim. Now right now I'm just going to glue the tassel at the ends just to secure it. And glue that into place. So we've left the inch underneath like that. Just push that to the end. And we take that to the far end like that because I wanted another tassel underneath and that actually looks great now I'm just going to cut this section off because it's too long and then what we have to do is to glue this in place so it doesn't come undone and we stick that down like that just pop a bit of glue over it to protect it and then let that dry don't waste your tassels they come in handy in other places so for now we've got that um, and then I'm going to put this tassel beaded tassel on now I'm just going to turn the end over because I don't want it to fray just do that like I say my fingers are like asbestos so it's going in there and I've lifted them up and that's going in there and at the same time we'll trim that down and we turn that in as well to protect it so it won't come off and then we're going to glue this in place Oh, bum. Come on. Got caught. Never mind, it's fine. We can solve that. Take that out of the way, so that's doing me editing. <laughs> okay, just going to make sure this is all glued down. to um, glue that down, glue that down and take that off that little beaded section all the beads came off it but never mind so we need to hang that properly like that, that's fine it just got caught up with itself that's all that's great I'm happy with that not sure if you can see that gorgeous just lovely um, now what I'm going to do along here is I do have some of these and they are really really pretty but I didn't know whether to put them on but then I think do you know what to hell with it I like that I think it all blends in I'm just going to glue these back down again that pinging you just heard was the um, altered pumpkin 
Yeah, I've done one again. Um, and it's come out fabulous. Right, let's sort this out. Oh, stick, stick, stick. Just one there. And we'll put the other one there. It just, even though there's flowers there, flowers there, it does set it off nicely. It's quite vintage looking. I'm actually just going to glue these to the front. Because they keep dropping over. But once they're glued down, they'll be fine. So yeah, that looks really nice. quite pretty and um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue using this I have this piece I just think I can fill that section up and it look great Trim all them bits. You know what? I'm going to take that out and just use a section of it. I don't want that. Just to add little bits here and there. Well, my good old pal Julie's going to see her sister in America in three weeks. Three weeks today, I think she said. And she's going for a month. She goes every year. And, uh peeved off now. <laughs> I miss her. I will. Miss our day trips and everything. Said to me, you don't have to go, you know. <laughs> shut up, she went. Shut up. I'm going. But there you go. I think I'm just going to add that there. It's just, I don't want any gaps, but I don't want it to look too much. See, I can't stand it when it's too much. And I like that. I think that's stunning. Really pretty. Might just put a little bit here. Let's just see what we can do with what's left. Let's have a look. We've got a little bit here we can cut out. I mean, the leafy bits won't go miss it. Won't go um, to waste because we don't do things like that. So they'll get used in other projects. So let's get me glue stick. Um, I just see just to fill a gap it just fills that little bit of a gap so they're going to hang like that I might put an odd one here let's just have a look I could do it like that see I like that it doesn't take much shall I shan't I We've got a bit left on it. Oh, I've got one here. This will do. I'll just take this bit and cut it. So. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take this section and just lay it over there like so and then just dob a glue in there and pull that down there and I think that's filled that out nicely yeah I've got a couple of leaves I'm just gonna stick here
So we'll just trim that. Just on here. Fill that bit of gap out. There. Like an extension of that one. Fine. Thrilled with that. And there you go. Okay, yeah, we can just trim this off here, and I'm quite happy with that, nice little hanger, and there you go, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll speak to you all soon.